Good morning. Welcome to the Thursday morning edition of Mornings with Stanley. Stanley's here. Lucy's in the other room. It's kind of weird. They were following me around the house again. Like, when, when are we going to go? When are we going to go? It's like, what do you mean? We've already been <laughs> for a walk. Oh, brother. They were just so excited when I was about to get in the shower. I guess they thought I was going to take them somewhere. I don't know what's going on with them. <laughs> They're good, mostly. Anyway, don't have much to report. Um, got a lot to do today, so I guess I ought to do my reading and get to the office. Okay, Stanley man. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, come on, come on. Come on. Stanley, you don't want to leave today, do you? Come on, come on. Good boy, good boy. Normally, he's much better at leaving the room. Well, here is our reading for today. <sighs> Thursday of week 26. Into his likeness. I am departing from the in Christ passages to put an, an in to put in an into passage. And we all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being changed into his likeness. From one degree of glory to another, for this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. That's 2 Corinthians 3.18. It is important that we pause and see what the in Christ emphasis leads us into. This passage makes it, clear, makes it clear that to be in Christ means we are being changed into Christ's likeness. This unfolds the goal, the place we are heading, the purpose of the whole. The purpose of the whole is nothing less than being changed into Christ's likeness. How tawdry this goal makes the ordinary goal seem. To get to heaven, to escape hell, to be happy, to be healthy, to be successful. This gives a goal worthy of the great divine redemption, a goal in harmony with its nature. We are to be, we are to be made into nothing less than Christ's likeness. There is nothing greater nor conceivably greater than that. If God were other than the God I see in the face of Jesus Christ, he would hold up a goal other than this. He would want to remain unique, different, and apart. He would not want to create beings in his own likeness. This is seen in mission work where, where people like the Syrian Christians will build churches for the outcasts, will educate them, and will do social service for them, but they will not make them into their own likeness. They will not make them Syrians. Missionaries in Africa are often horrified when the African wants to be made into their likeness to adopt their customs and mode of life. No, we will do everything for them except to put them on our own level, to make them into our likeness. Christ, our Redeemer, offers to share not only his redemption, but a redemption into his own likeness. That is love that not only stoops to share, but lifts to share his own likeness. Here is our prayer for today. You who are the image of the Father, you are striving to make us into the same image. Wonderful generosity, wonderful goal. It puts back my shoulders. I am to be like you. Let nothing stop me. I am on the way. Amen. Our affirmation for the day. Into his likeness, my destiny is so great that I must say, be gone all littleness, all slights and hurts, and all low aims. Jesus is Lord.